Denver Post. Um, last night, Malone was talking about guarding against complacency now that you have a 2-1 lead. Um, how do you guys do that? What, what is the mindset? What is the approach going into tomorrow afternoon? Um, I mean, we, we know it's not over. You know, we still have work to do. Um, it's a long series, but we, we put ourselves in a good opportunity uh, to take a commander lead in this series. So um, we come out with the same mindset and uh, understand that there's still work to do. Matt Moore, the Action Network. Uh, Aaron, Dame obviously presents the big threat from three-point range, and a natural counter to you guarding him is for him to drive more, but you manage to stay out of foul trouble. What's the big key if Dame has to go towards the rim? How do you avoid picking up fouls on a player with his skill level? Just show your hands, slide your feet, and then um, try and block the shot when he puts it in the air, you know. I might have a, give up a, a step or two on quickness, maybe a step, um, but I make up with it from my, my length and athleticism. So I just try and get it when it's on the rim. Mark Medina, USA Today. Aaron, good to see you. Um, I was wondering, what have you appreciate about Faku, both with his game and what he's been like as a teammate? I mean, he's a great guy off the floor, but on the floor. His IQ, the way he sees the game, um, I mean, he's just just crazy solid, man. Uh, defensively, he's a monster. Uh, he should be on an NBA all-defensive team. So if people haven't voted him into an all-defensive team, they're sleeping on him. Offensively, he has a, a really good skill set. You know, he's able to shoot the floater with both hands. Uh, he's shooting the tray really well, and then he sees the floor, and he's able to assist and, and make plays. So he's just a, a key, uh, very, very important part of this team. Christo Saltes, SDNA Greece. Hey, Aaron, hope you're doing well. After the, time, after the loss in game one, you bounced back with two straight wins, uh, both in Denver and uh, last night in Portland. What was the takeaway of, uh, of last night's game? And what it means that bounce back about your character and your mentality as a team? Um, yeah, I just uh, it's a testament of, of our resiliency. You know, um, if I back, they, they tied it up and and then we pushed it out again yesterday. Uh, uh, this team is, is smart, uh, uh, talented. We execute for the most part, so. Uh, we got a lot of different threats out there and a lot of people that can make plays all game long. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey Aaron, game two, you played a pivotal role coming in defending Dame. Uh, last night was Austin uh, going crazy in the fourth quarter. How much fun is it when, when you guys get major contributions from all up and down the roster and you can't necessarily predict where it's going to come from? You know, it's just a part of this team. You know, you never know whose night it's going to be. Uh, you know, you got Yoke in there who's doing it every single night, day in and day out. You know what I mean? But um, there, there's people on this roster that are, are just really great ball players, man. So you don't know where it's going to come from, um, but you know it's going to come from someone. Matt Moore, the Action Network. Aaron, games one and two were so chippy and so tense. You had flagrants and technicals and all this stuff, and last night seemed to step back from that. Can you kind of figure out any reason why the tone of the game kind of seemed different between the two of you? Not sure. Um, you know, each game is different. Um, I think they were excited uh, to be home with that many fans. Uh, that might have played into it, you know, just the energy of the fans behind them. Um, might have given them something uh, um, that they didn't need to bring uh, themselves. I'm not sure. Just a different game. Um, I know uh, it's, it's going to be a fight uh, tomorrow as well. Um, and then going back into Denver, too. I mean, these, these guys are competitors, man. So they're not going to go away. Uh, they're, not, they're not just going to lay down, man. These guys, these guys fight. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. 
Hey, Aaron, last night after the game, Coach Malone said, you guys are like the Statue of Liberty. You guys will take anybody. So I'm curious from your perspective, why do you think this franchise can take anybody and get their best basketball? Oh, man. Well, I think it's the culture here. We talk basketball uh, all the time. You know, uh, Pretty much every conversation that I hear is, is about basketball and it's about how, how we can be better and about uh, ways to improve. Um, uh, from the coaching staff, uh, from the owners, uh, down to the players, yeah, some really determined people and, and just really great basketball minds all collectively working towards the same goal. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Aaron. Uh, Coach Malone has talked a lot about kind of limiting your minutes when you first joined the team because you had uh, come off of your uh, injury and uh, you also had joined a new team. So now you seem to reach a real comfortable level with everybody. And do you feel like that's reaching your like peak physically or developing chemistry with the team or a combination or what's working for you there? Yeah, it's the combination of it all. You know, coming out off that, uh, my hamstring injury in the bubble, I didn't get a full off season to re rehab that. Um, so I think that was kind of lingering in to kind of the deficiencies in, in my left leg. And that's kind of why I rolled my ankle as well. So um, after all the time off and after being with uh, the training staff here in Denver, you know, I feel the best I felt all year. So um, I feel great and um, just uh, appreciate that they're still putting their trust in me uh, to play me that many minutes. And I'm um, just going to give it everything that I have while I'm out there. All right, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Mark Medina from USA Today. Aaron, on Faku, what's he like as a teammate behind the scenes? And I know, you know, obviously there's been restrictions this season because of the, the protocols, but have there been chances for like cultural immersion and all that, given his background? Uh, no, not, not necessarily cultural immersion. But, you know, we just talk, talk about, um, uh, we talk about, you know, where he comes from, um, where I come from, you know, uh, to talk about his family and what it means to him to be a dad and, and just how good of a person he is. He's very funny, uh, understands the game, understands basketball culture. It's tough, man. It's just really, really tough and, and gritty. So we see eye to eye. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Aaron. All right, yeah. Peace.